Alada is a farming community in Benin where pineapple is mostly grown. Most of the producers have adopted organic means of growing pineapples, thereby making their produce the best for consumption. One of these producers is Ellie Jigla. On a choisi produit la nana biologique pour préserver la nature. We opted for an organic pineapple plantation because it helps to protect our land and increase our revenue as compared to the conventional practice where chemical fertilizers are used. Des engrais chimiques, des produits chimiques. Annually, about 200,000 tons of pineapple is produced in Benin, and 2% of this is exported. The remaining is meant for local consumption. In order for producers to check waste, about 13 pineapple producers came together to form a cooperative society called Initiative pour la Relance Danana, ERA. Through individual contribution, a capital of about 115 US dollars was raised to set up the juice factory. Ira Cooperative was set up in 2001 by pineapple producers with the aim of creating a sustainable market for our produce. Therefore, we came together to set up this factory to process part of our produce in order to preserve it. Pineapple is a perishable farm produce, so we have to find alternative means to preserve it. In the beginning, it had so much value, but from 1998 to 2000, the price decreased to the extent that one kilo of pineapple cost two US dollars. Therefore, we thought that since there was no industry to absorb all our produce, we had to contribute among ourselves to start this juice factory. And today, we are able to process six tons of pineapple into juice at every given time. Mais les équipements que nous utilisons sont tellement archaïques que la main d'œuvre est beaucoup plus importante. Voilà par exemple les équipements qu'on utilisait dans les années 2005-2006. It is sad to note that this equipment, which was used in 2005 and 2006, was the same that was used to heat juice. But today, we have a modern machine, which has just been installed. So these pots are now used to boil water, to sterilize the cans and bottles, so as to prevent bacteria infestations and food poisoning. Là, c'est des bouteilles récupérées. Après l'enlèvement des étiquettes, il faut chauffer pour être sûr que les éléments nuisibles à la santé sont entièrement détruits. With the help of Helvetus, a Swiss NGO, ERA, has boosted its production to increase its revenue. Initially, they used indigenous means of preparing the juice, but the introduction of those modern equipment has tripled their production rates. We started by producing 200 kilograms of pineapple with the little resource we had. We wrote to help us, and thanks be to God, they responded to our needs by giving us a modern machine worth about 10,000 US dollars. Helvetas has played a major role in the cooperatives in Alada. Not only do they assist them to acquire certificates, receive technical and financial assistance, but they also coordinate and link them to both local and international buyers. Elvetas provide assistance for all pineapple producers in the Department of Atlantic. Last year, we, we, we tried maybe to put them uh, in contact with many companies like Claro from Switzerland, Gebana uh, from uh, Burkina Faso. But Gebana is, uh, is in Burkina Faso, but they export the juice. Too. And uh, also we have Blue Sky in Ghana. Uh, uh, too. So they come here to buy uh, uh, pineapple from Repub Cooperative. Currently, ERA employs about seven permanent staff and 53 casual workers, of whom most are women. They now produce about 350 cartons of pineapple juice per day. 
avec uh, ce petit niveau de transformation, la masse salariale. Even with a small volume of production, our annual expenditure is estimated at 70,000 US dollars. Our objective is to make our producers happy by giving them a good market and also be able to increase the salaries of our workers. Tout en maintenant l'équilibre au sein même de l'entreprise pour qu'on n'échoue pas du jour au lendemain. Apart from processing the pineapple into juice, fiber and peels from the pineapples are used to produce ecological fertilizer which is used to prepare their farmlands for the subsequent seasons. Nous ambitionnons Our ambition is to make IRA cooperative, the Coca-Cola of Africa, because this initiative will help the producers to feel comfortable in their business. Organic pineapple is the second foreign exchange earner of the cotton, which does not enjoy any substantial patronage on the local market. The cotton industry is in this condition because there are no factories to process it. But we want to remove all these obstacles in the pineapple industry by making it one of the biggest foreign earners in Benin and even in West Africa. All their produce is satisfied as organic and apart from it being consumed locally, is also exported to Togo and Nigeria. This initiative has brought a lot of success to the pineapple producers and IRA cooperative. Thank you.